Hi, this is a Global Tropical Overview for January the 8th, 2023. As is always the case in these videos, the thoughts expressed here are mine alone. And if you're here to make decisions based on your local area or tropical cyclone impacts, you're in the wrong place. I give a big picture of things and I cannot get down to the local level that your local weather office and emergency management can. So across the tropics, it's been about a week um, since I made my last video. And since then, we can see that this is what I think is the remnants of Tropical Cyclone Ellie, which has been around for two weeks now, I think. It came in around Christmas time uh, into the Northern Territories and just sat across the Northern Territories and Western Australia. And then the system came towards Western Australia. It did not get offshore. We talked about in the last video that there was a potential for it to come offshore and maybe strengthen a little. That did not occur. Thankfully, but the system still did manage to strengthen a little bit and deliver more heavy rainfall to areas that really did not need it. Uh, but now the system has moved further inland and with no real well-defined center, the system has dissipated. And you can see just general cloud cover, maybe some showers as well, associated with the broad just energy envelope still there from Ellie. So you can see elsewhere across the tropics, we have a couple areas of interest. This is the remnants of Tropical Cyclone Halle, which was named yesterday. It was a short-lived tropical cyclone, but this is generally going to continue southeast and is not expected to redevelop. This is in Vest 95P. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center is giving this a moderate chance of development, but it is getting far south, uh, and I just don't know if it's going to develop it does look good on the satellite though so maybe that's where they're coming from on it we do have an area to watch we need to watch an area out here by fiji we'll look at models in just a second about that we have invest 97w here very far south only three degrees north and this is expected to generally track westwards and it could be maybe a weak tropical cyclone at most uh, near the southern philippines main threat there really is rainfall and you can see lots of rainfall and cloud cover from that general system and over here in the southwest indian ocean we don't have any clouds signifying it yet but out here in the middle of the southwest indian ocean we do need to watch for potential formation there the ensembles are trying to signify maybe something happening there but if it were to form it would likely be far out to sea far from any land areas uh, so really, the main focus on this video is going to be on the area of interest near Fiji. And uh, this is the Fiji Meteorological Service. They do have an area of interest right now, west of New Caledonia. I've looked up guidance and I don't know where they're seeing this. This might be maybe something that they're seeing and I'm not. But on guidance, I'm not really seeing much take place uh, formation-wise. But again, regardless of that, low chance of development west of New Caledonia, uh, west of the, I guess, northwestern tip of New Caledonia, that is to be more specific. And they have no areas of interest right now around Fiji. And there is a bit of uncertainty here. So here's the GFS model. And you can see in typical GFS model fashion, the system is going quite aggressive on forming a tropical cyclone. And I wanna point this out because you'll probably see uh, some stuff online posted saying, oh, the GFS is forming a tropical cyclone, Fiji, watch out. The GFS typically does go aggressive on this, but I am showing this as well, as this is something that we do need to watch. The other global models do have an area of low pressure here by day five, and that could lead to some tropical cyclone formation. Now, if we look at an environmental conditions again this is just the gfs uh wind shear looks generally favorable and um we know that sea surface temperatures and oceanic heat content is favorable as it is close to the peak time for tropical cyclone seasons here uh, in the australian region southwest indian ocean and south pacific so just something to watch it's cyclone season you all in fiji are very familiar with these all systems while it's not completely fully known if one will form it is important to watch it but that is really all around the tropics and i'm gonna now diverge from the tropics i'm gonna talk about another significant event happening across the world 
And if you're in the United States, like I am, you've probably heard all over the news about the heavy rainfall in California and how it's really just taking a toll on the state, bringing a lot of flooding. And that is certainly going to continue in the early part of this week. You can see here a slight risk, this is for the rest of the night tonight, slight risk of excessive rainfall across the, uh, the state of California, much of it. And you can see on the key down here, I point to that, what the slight risk means is that if you put a point in this slight risk, within 25 miles of that point, there is at least a 15% chance of rainfall exceeding flash flood guidance. And as you go up in that scale, as you get to moderate and even high, those chances grow. And uh, especially moderate and high, we are talking about tomorrow. There is not a high risk uh, at this time for tomorrow. However, the Weather Prediction Center has stated that that cannot be ruled out. Uh, if you're watching in California, I know you've had a lot of rainfall. And this is just not something you want to see, especially for the flooded areas. Now, of course, this rainfall is good. It takes care of the drought that has been in place for over a year. But the issue with this is we're getting so much of it at once. This is the observed rainfall over the past week. And you can see here, look at that, lots of rainfall along the coastline. And the, this over here is mountain snow. But over on the coastline, those darker colors, that's eight, nine inches of rain. And in some of these cases across the state, a lot of this rainfall has fallen in the past two to three days. And when you have a drought stricken land, the soil cannot absorb moisture as well as it can if you were not in a drought. So it is causing some issues. That is a downside to getting out of these droughts in the West. Now there is an upside. We are getting a lot of rainfall and a good snowpack in the mountains. And especially when we get towards spring and summer months, it will really help the agricultural regions across the world in the drier seasons of the month. And that's kind of the split of this. It's, it's a lose-win situation. You get a lot of rain that causes flooding, but on the other side, you get rain that helps the drought and it helps agricultural. It's just the way things are in the western U.S. And it is the wet time of year, so this isn't like unusual it's not like we're getting this in summer and if we go to day three we have a new moderate risk region this was introduced earlier this afternoon around the la region and san diego you're also now in a slight risk and this slight risk extends all the way up to uh northeast of san francisco maybe around sacramento and a marginal risk stretching almost up the entire california coastline and also we're not done uh, this system is well this this whole risk i should mention is part of a system pushing into california tomorrow and that's kind of been the way that things have gone we've had systems come in they push a lot of moisture in then we get maybe a day break for most of the state and then it starts all over again we're starting to see that as day four now has a slight risk of excessive rainfall you see here maybe from another system bringing a new push of moisture whether or not we see a new uh, excessive rainfall risk issued in the new day four this uh, tomorrow morning, that remains to be seen. But either way, I just wanted to mention this is this is a really impressive scenario here. We've had, uh, it feels like two weeks now of heavy rainfall in California, and um, it's far from done. But that is all that I have to talk about here in the Global Tropics Outlook. I know I kind of diverged from the tropics at the end there, but overall... I like talking about weather and this is my source to do so. So if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, you know, do the subscribe and like stuff. And um, if you have any thoughts uh, of your own, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And I'll try to ca uh, have these out daily or at least semi-daily this week. And we'll be continuing to watch, again, the, uh, the area of interest by Fiji. That area of interest by New Caledonia. Uh, Invest 97W, which is southeast of the Philippines, and that new area of interest in the Southwest Indian Ocean. Lots to keep watch this week in the weather world, uh, and stay safe if you all are being affected by the California rains or any tropical cyclones.